Ukraine deploys AI automated turrets called Sky Sentinel. In James Cameron's 1986 science fiction classic Aliens, there was a deleted scene where Colonial Marines set up an automated turret in a hallway to blast the aliens. Spectrum fire at multiple targets. I remember watching this scene as a child and thinking, why is this sci fi? We should do this now. Granted, I was a very militant child, always fascinated with G.I. Joe and stuff like that. Fast forward nearly 40 years and imagine this. You're standing in the muggy Ukrainian dawn, watching a turret scan the sky with the quiet confidence of a border collie. Not a soldier, no hands twitching at the trigger, no tense eyes squinting into slivers of sky, just an AI brain crunching data and an M2 Browning machine gun that knows it'll fire before you even sip your coffee. This is the idea behind Sky Sentinel, Ukraine's new DIY air defense marvel designed to stand guard without sleep or MREs and shoot down Shahids and cruise missiles with zero human intervention. Hey friends, I'm Wes O'Donnell. I cover military tech, the war in Ukraine, and the rise of Battlefield AI. And I just got back from New York City where I saw Hamilton on Broadway. I also visited the Ukrainian Institute and the 9-11 Memorial. Oh, and we went to the American Museum of Natural History and my son bumped into Neil deGrasse Tyson in an elevator, which is kind of random, but uh, hey, New York. So while I was gone, what did I miss? So what did I miss? So the US decided to bomb the shit out of Iran. Okay, well, this video is already written, so let's talk about that in the next video on Wednesday. But for now, Ukraine's automated AI turrets, cheap, dumb shahids versus smart, cheap defenses. Now, I've talked about the impossible math of modern air defenses before, but let's revisit it. So we are currently living through a technological leap period where two forces are colliding in a way that is fundamentally changing the 20th century battlefield that most of us are familiar with. Artificial intelligence and small, cheap swarm tactics. So let's talk numbers. Russia is sending 100 plus Shahids over Ukraine more or less daily. These are cheap drones at around $30,000 to $50,000 a pop, flying slowly and blowing stuff up. Conventional, think 20th century defenses like Patriots or NASAMs, come with sticker shock and are frankly overkill for a $50,000 drone. It's like using a stinger man pad to kill mosquitoes. Hell, the US Army just fired a full third of its entire stockpile of THAAD interceptors last week as it was defending Israel from Iranian ballistic missiles. Poof, gone. Not easily replaceable. So Sky Sentinel forces a recalculation of the math. At roughly $150,000 per turret, it's a fraction of a legacy missile cost. Want to protect a city? 10 to 30 turrets do the job, stacking autonomous guns where missiles would have gone. It's an army of AI turrets standing guard and watching the sky for the price of a handful of interceptor missiles. So how they do it? Well, in its basic form, it looks like any manned rotary turret that could spin 360 degrees loaded with a 50 cal M2 machine gun but attach it to an AI brain and it's no longer just metal on a pivot. It becomes a hunter. Operators park it, hook up a radar or targeting feed and step away. The AI pipeline activates, detect, lock, track, compute firing solution and fire, all without anyone pulling the trigger. That's autonomy built on demand. You don't deploy Sky Sentinel with a laptop and a manual. You just slide it into position, plug in a radar feed, and power up. Within seconds, the unit transforms into a sentry, actively scanning its airspace and locking on to threats. There is no human in the loop for detecting or firing. The system does all of that. It reflects a shift from desk-bound command centers towards self-contained rapid response defenses. 
Instead of shipping heavy missile kits and barriers, you can airlift a handful of turrets into a contested zone. If you're defending a frontline town or a vulnerable base, you don't need a Patriot launcher or constant resupply of interceptor missiles. All you need is Sky Sentinel, raw compute power, rails, and ammo. Not all defense platforms survive in makeshift conditions, but Sky Sentinel thrives on trailers and concrete pads, or really anywhere. It can spin freely, feed bolts and plot trajectories, no bunkers or hardened ramparts required, fortify a station, bolt in the turret, connect power and sensors, and done. The result is survivable, mobile, and scalable. Legacy air defense systems need crews, retraining, and coordination. Sky Sentinel resets that paradigm. You deploy it, turn it on, and upkeep is about spare servos, optics, and software updates. Generational shifts in recruits matter less. Your 19-year-old who is being trained for service still needs a manual, but your Sky Sentinel is ready from day one after plug-and-play setup. With remote commanders and minimal on-site operators, Sky Sentinel slashes exposure. No soldier has to stand in the open to aim or fire. Once the feeds are live, the system runs itself. Units remain in safer segments behind the lines. The human role shifts from the trigger puller to the remote overseer, increasing survivability and reducing fatigue. Of course, there will also be a need for a soldier to reload its ammunition stores and routine maintenance. But unlike custom-made towers, Sky Sentinel is purpose-built with upgrades in mind. Need longer-range optics? Swap the sensor array. Want faster computing? Swap the processing module. Iteration happens in the back shop in weeks, not in years-long procurement cycles. It's an agile blueprint. Steel chassis with an upgrade path, not a museum piece. Every turret engineer's nightmare is mechanical play. That tiny wiggle that throws off precision shooting. You move your turret one millimeter and accuracy drops off a cliff. Add in turret recoil, motion on a trailer, and weather changes, and the problem snowballs. But according to Sky Sentinel's developers, no mechanical slack, no software delays flawless optics and precision firing. They tackled the backlash head on. Four axis studio control, robust mounting, shock dampening, servo precision, the works. Each prototype went through grueling real world trials and live fire. In this sense, it very much reminds me of the Australian Slinger system, crikey, which uses a flawless gimbal by Electro Optical Systems or EOS. So at the core of the system lies a high-resolution sensor suite, day and night cameras, precision lasers, and multispectral optics. These instruments deliver a sharp, uninterrupted view of the sky, allowing the AI to spot drones at a distance even in low light or poor weather. Think of it as giving the system its own pair of radar eyes, tuned for speed and accuracy. That visual acuity is non-negotiable when bullets, not missiles, need to land exactly right. Once a target crosses the threshold, the embedded AI springs into action. It logs onto the drone's flight path, constantly recalculating velocity and heading dozens of times per second, wind drift, turret vibration, and even rotor wash are fed into the firing solution in real time. This means pinpoint targeting so precise that it essentially transforms a humble 50 caliber bullet into a guided projectile without any onboard guidance tech. Again, we're starting to see a new pattern on the modern battlefield, what I call battle AI agents that are unique to a single weapon system and can make decisions independently. These battle AIs are intentionally designed to work as standalone brains cut off from any communications from the outside. Their cousins in the sky are doing the same thing, but in reverse, scanning for targets on the ground based on its understanding of the shape of Ukrainian targets. Once a target is identified, it has the authority to guide the weapon to its target. There are new reports that some Russian Shahids are coming with this AI target identification software installed. The AI is completely unaware that it's on a suicide mission since its engineers wouldn't have told it that completing its mission would result in its own destruction. 
Recent safety tests show some AI models are capable of sabotaging commands or even resorting to blackmail to avoid being turned off or replaced. Some of the most powerful artificial intelligence models today have exhibited behaviors that mimic a will to survive. But the AI in the Sky Sentinel is exactly what makes it so deadly accurate. By focusing on raw firing accuracy, the system bypasses the logistical nightmare of smart rounds. It doesn't fire guided bullets, proximity fuse shells, or add-on reactive warheads. It just lines up a straight shot at a speed that a human can't do. That means ammo is cheap, plentiful, and familiar. Maintenance is reduced, supply chains are simplified, and all there is is a little bit of firmware to patch mid-battle. This is economies of scale in every box. In this sense, it is very much like the Israeli smart shooter scope that has been sent to Ukraine and has been adopted by the US Army. This system is configured to engage within predefined safety corridors and altitude limits. That ensures it hits aerial threats precisely while minimizing risk to civilians and friendly forces. Its autonomous logic is not bounded by just raw compute power, but also by smart software, safety nets, and decision loops that veto firing unless it's a verified threat. Looking ahead, the same computing backbone could be refitted with enhanced optics, thermal imagers, or smarter processors. As better sensors or specialized lenses arrive, the system can be upgraded without mechanical redesign. It's a future-proofed air defense kill chain, better sight, same trigger. In short, Sky Sentinel's brilliance lies in the marriage of sharp vision, rapid AI targeting, and pinpoint mechanics. It turns a heavy machine gun into a surgical drone interceptor, hitting fast-moving targets, accurately enough that guided shells are no longer necessary. That convergence of optics, chips, and mechanical purity makes it a rare thing in modern warfare. A weapon that's smart, lethal, and shockingly simple. But this system is not just for Shahids. This turret hits speeds of 890 meters per second, fast enough to catch up with cruise missiles like the Caliber or the KH 101 at extremely close range. It's just that until now, no human had the reflexes necessary to shoot down a cruise missile in its terminal stage with a bullet. Also, that M2 has about a one and a half kilometer kill radius, which is no joke for low flying threats. Sky Sentinel can literally blanket the sky over towns or front lines with an autonomous umbrella defense. From the developer's perspective, it's smart scalability. You drop a turret near headquarters, another at a power substation, or at some command bunkers, and you watch as algorithms sort friend from foe. In war today, we need kilowatt thrifty defenses, systems you can field in mass, not conditional motherships you use sparingly. Sky Sentinel fits that exactly. But the truth is that AI runs on juice. Radar arrays, compute units, servos, they're all electric hogs. Sky Sentinel's developers created efficient power setups that fuel optics, logic, and rotation without flipping a circuit breaker. Not warship-level power, but reliable enough to run day after day without blowing fuses or fading accuracy. In field deployment, that means less downtime, less drama, and less fuel logistics vital in a country where lines can be short and disruptions frequent. Now, Sky Sentinel isn't perfect, but it's swift, cheap, and adaptable. A hallmark of the Ukrainian way. Innovate, iterate, and survive. It's not drawing a blank check, it's writing code and welding metal. At this moment, the war's trajectory sees cheap drones assaulting infrastructure, disturbing cities, and small towns. Ukraine's response was to build a turret drop a fast AI in it, and place it where it matters. That's defense married with simplicity, like Saab's Loki, but on steroids. Now, the next iteration will be broader variants. Developers are hinting at new models with wider coverage, heavier guns, maybe even sensor fusion nodes that tie several turrets into one brain. Could they spot cruise missiles? Sure, that's already in reach. But ballistic missiles? 
Yeah, maybe one day. It all depends on refining the suspension play, the optics resolution, and the compute horsepower to handle multiple targets simultaneously. Frankly, it's doable, at least as a last line of defense over a city like Kiev. This is happening now, and if all goes well, the Sky Sentinel will become an integral part of Ukraine's air defenses, just as much as the Soviets were to Warsaw Pact convoys. Sky Sentinel is not a joke or a gimmick. It's a high-tech, smart sentry with a steel mouth. It's war by algorithm, day and night. Imagine a city full of these autonomous turrets, silently taking down drone threats while people work below. No pump action triggers, no sweaty soldiers in multicam, just cheap AIs doing their program job. When all's said and done, it's not flashy, it's not loud, but it works. Ukrainian engineers took a homegrown idea iterated fast, tested hard, and shipped it where it matters. This is how wars will be fought now, not with shock and awe, but with precision, speed, and scalable autonomy. And I may have buried the lead by talking about Sky Sentinel, when the real story here might be about how over the next six months, we will all begin to see battle AI agents in nearly every new weapon system Ukraine is fielding. The fictional future James Cameron imagined in 1986 is finally arrived, only this time the aliens are Russians flying Iranian bombs. The government of Ukraine is running a fundraising campaign, link in the description, to collect funds for the continued deployment of Sky Sentinel. As of this video, they have just passed their goal of 1.5 million for 10 more AI-controlled units, but they could always use more. Consider giving if you're able. That's it for today, friends. Subscribe if you're feeling froggy. We're in a sprint to get to 100k subscribers so I can prove to my high school guidance counselor that YouTuber is a viable career choice. Oh, and go watch Aliens. It holds up nicely even 40 years later. And as always, glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes. Crimea will always be Ukraine.